My Adventures with the Bee Caster. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify. I saw a video on the YouTube channel Danny Lewis called I Built This Guitar for $30. In the video, he routed out most of the wood on a Telecaster body. Actually, he built a guitar from scratch and routed out most of the wood from the body. I thought the guitar he created was cool as hell, and I wanted something similar. This was about a year ago. I had a day job work friend at the time who had all of the equipment in his shop at home that I could do this type of project on. I wanted to cut out honeycomb shapes from the body. He agreed to help and I ordered an ash body off of eBay. By the time the body had arrived, he had left the company I worked for and gone to a competitor. I reached out to him a few times, but he didn't respond. Kind of a dead end. I ended up using the body in another build. In October of this year, I was on eBay and stumbled on the Tara Woodworks store, and before my very eyes was the thing that I wanted to create. I placed my order, and a month later it showed up. I've had so many projects scheduled for the channel that I did not get to the project until now. Tara Woodworks describes the body as, it's a two or three piece ash. If there's a preference, you know, ask them. Can be made in either right or left hand configuration. The body thickness is one and three quarters. The average weight of the body is about four and a half pounds. The neck pocket is a standard Telecaster style. Pickup cavity, standard Telecaster style routing. String ferrule holes with 5 16 depth 3 8 with standard vintage bridge string spacing. Wiring holes are all drilled. The body does not have a finish coat. Further sanding will be required before finish is applied. That's very true. I got a body that was exactly what I wanted, but was going to need a lot of work on my part. I decided a specific theme. I ordered all black hardware, including the pickup ring, bridge, control panel, knobs, neck plate, string trees, and I'm referring to unfortunate tuners. More on that in a bit. It took me a long time to prep and finish the body. I did it over the course of a couple weeks. I sanded the body in the following manner. I started with 120 grit sandpaper and sanded the body, followed by wetting the surface to raise the grain. I would then go to 240 and sand down the grain, and then wet again, and then I would increment up to a higher number of grit on the sandpaper. I did this through about 12 different grit levels until I got all the way to a thousand grit. The surface and back of the guitar was very smooth. I ordered yellow stain from Stumac and stained the body. It came out a little too yellow. I kind of referred to it as being obnoxious yellow. So I sanded the front and back until I was able to take it down to a respectable level of yellow. I did not use grain sealer on this body. The surface was like glass when I ran my hand over it and over the course of three days, I applied about a dozen coats of satin nitrocellulose lacquer. The neck in the project is a Mighty Might Fender License 22 fret C profile, nine and a half radius maple and rosewood Telecaster neck. I really, really like these necks and they're very affordable and they seem to be really consistent, play well, and seem to be an excellent neck for builds. For electronics, I built a standard monitored Telecaster wiring harness with CTS 250K solid shaft pots, an Oak Grigsby three-way switch, a 0 0.022 UF capacitor, and a switchcraft output jack. For pickups, I wanted to try out something different and I tried out a set of Lindy Fralin Blue Special Telecaster pickups that I pick up on Reverb at a really good price used and mint condition. Fralin describes these pickups as wound with a 5% overwind from our stock tellies. Blue specials feature punchy, warm tone that teams the harsh top end from most Telecasters and helps you hear every nuance in your playing. For me, that may not be the greatest thing. Um, I like to hide some of the nuances in my playing since I'm not the best player. Notes about the build. The black tuners that were supposed to be fender pattern did not fit the holes that I drilled in the headstock. For now, I have a set of fender locking tuners in chrome installed. I have a fender set in black coming sometime next week and I'm kind of excited to to install them to finish out the entire build. I really like the color differences on the inside of the cutouts and the sides of the guitar, which I left a darker yellow to contrast with the back and front of the guitar. The guitar is not as light as I expected. It comes in at seven pounds and six ounces, but it's still pretty light. She balances perfectly. I was worried she would be neck heavy, but she's not. I mean, she balances seriously perfectly. I welcome to the world the Bee Caster, and because of the pickups installed, her stage name is Bumblebee Blues.
If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify.